We have got to stop overcomplicating SMMA. This is one of the simplest and most straightforward business models that you can possibly create. Let's pause, take a deep breath, and zoom out for a quick second. Now, I want you to ask yourself a question. How do I get money into my bank account with SMMA? Really, it's quite simple. You have to sell something to somebody that needs your services. We aren't sending people to the moon here or creating electronic cars. Every single business in today's day and age needs some form of social media marketing. It doesn't matter what type of business you run, you need a way to bring clients and customers to your business. So if it's really this simple, why do we make it so complex in our heads? Well, the reality is there's so many YouTubers, there's so many people in Facebook groups sharing their opinions. All these people sharing their thoughts and their opinions are talking about a bunch of random tactics that when put together, don't really form any sort of strategy. They're focusing on steps 10, 11, and 12 when you need to focus on steps one, two, and three. Derek and I realized early on that there were thousands and thousands and thousands of business owners in our local community alone that knew that they needed to be on social media but had no idea where to look when we presented our agency as an option they were signing up in droves and we never looked back so instead of looking at the most complex advanced high ticket tactics let's keep it to the basics and talk about closing our first couple social media clients so let's break it down if you haven't gotten your first client yet or if you're looking for your second or third client i'm going to give you a simple blueprint on how to make it happen well using the exact strategies that i'm going to talk about in this video the other half of two guys build a biz derek to mike my business partner and i closed our first client paying us almost $3,000 per month for a six month contract. On top of that, we've also helped thousands of agency owners through our program, the SMMA Blueprint, replicate our results in their own agencies, quit their jobs, live life on their terms, and get their agencies started from scratch and scale them to wherever they wanna take them. But there are a couple key steps that you need to keep in mind when going about getting your first client. Step one is that you're gonna to wanna to choose your outreach channel. Pick an outreach channel like email, Instagram DM, Facebook DM, Facebook groups, door to door, whatever it's gonna be for you in your business and do as much outreach as you possibly can. Keep in mind that every single touch point that you do has the ability to put thousands of dollars in your bank account. When you think of it in those numbers, even if you send out 100 emails and you get zero replies back, if you land a deal on 101, that means that every single email that you just sent has a value of $10 or perhaps even more. These types of hacks can really keep you going when you're first getting your agency launched and you might feel a little discouraged. The most important thing here though is is consistency. A massive mistake that I see agency owners make when they're first starting out is they jump from one tactic to the next to the next. They send 100 emails, they say, oh, that didn't work. Never give any tactic enough time to actually prove its value and deliver results for their agency. When Derek and I were first getting started, we set a goal of 50 manual handwritten emails per day each, and we replicated that for that six months. And what did we do? We were able to quit our jobs six months later, making hundreds of thousands of dollars with our agency. So step number two is that you're gonna wanna make your offer very compelling, and you're gonna wanna offer some free trials to get started with. What we recommend is one or two weeks, a quick, easy campaign where there's some value attached to it. You're going to run a promotion. You're going to help get some more eyeballs on their website. You're going to drive some visitors through the door, whatever it is. Where there's actually value that they can expect to get from the campaign versus you just offering some arbitrary free work for them. And in this way, that becomes an offer that's so good that they don't want to pass up on it. They'll be willing to throw in some ad spend. You work for free for a week or two and you get some social proof and a name that you can put on your website and use to market yourself to future clients. I get people hitting me up on Instagram all the time, offering me free services like video editing, working for an agency for free. I never respond to these people because there's really no actual value attached to it for me. I wanna see a result at the end of the day. And you offering free work to me is not really a compelling offer because I'm not gonna be getting anything out of it. So when you approach these business owners, you wanna make sure that you have something in mind, like a campaign, a result that they can expect to achieve and lead with that during your outreach. Step number three is throughout all of this, you wanna remain consistent with your outreach. This means that you might get your first case study and during the time that you're delivering on that case study, you're gonna to wanna to continue doing outreach. When Derek and I were first getting started in sales, it was long before our SMMA careers. And I remember anytime that we would get a deal, we basically would stop all of our outreach just hoping that that deal would close and that we would get thousands of dollars in our bank account. What ended up happening over time is our income was super stop and go because we were just not being consistent with our outreach during that time. This helped us a lot when we got into SMMA because we had been through that before and we knew that if we wanted to continue growing our agency, it was gonna come down to our consistency in our outreach. So the reality is from now until forever, until you're able to build a team like Derek and I have been able to that now handle all the outreach for us, you're gonna to wanna to remain consistent with our outreach and you'll be stacking thousands and thousands of dollars 
in your bank account every single month. I also wanna be clear that you need to think in terms of big numbers. Sending one email a day is not gonna get you anywhere. Sending 100 emails a day will get you somewhere. Keep that in mind and think in terms of those types of numbers when you're doing your outreach and when you're remaining consistent. If you're curious, maybe you work a nine to five job and it's just not feasible for you to do something like that, check out some of the other videos on our channel where we talk about ways to automate your outreach or all the other outreach methods available to you. Step number four is by far the most important step of all of this, and that's just to get used to rejection. Doesn't matter what you're selling, it doesn't matter if you're an SMA, you putting yourself out in the market as an entrepreneur, you need to have a thick skin. Hearing a no does not mean that SMA does not work. Getting one single no from somebody does not mean that you are a failure as an agency owner, and this is not going to work for you. That just means that you've gotten through one no on your way to your next yes. It took time for us to get here. We needed to get through a ton of no's to get to the point that we were able to close as many deals as we do. We've learned exactly what the market wants. We've learned how to handle every objection that could possibly come our way. And the only way to do that is to get through the nose. Instead, use that as fuel. Get a chip on your shoulder. Laugh at them. Say, well, you'll be mistaken. Prove them wrong. Go work with their competitor. Do whatever you need to do to fuel yourself. This is really where the folks that are not going to make it in SMMA or really any other type of business at all get weeded out. This is where most people stop. They hear no once. They say, oh, this isn't working for me. And they move on and they go back to their nine to five job or working at Taco Bell or whatever it is that they do. Nothing wrong with any of that, but if you really want to be an entrepreneur, you need to get a thick skin. You need to be accustomed to hearing no. Looking back on things now, eight years of running our agency later, I can't tell you how many times Derek and I have heard no, but those no's all seem so insignificant in the big scheme of things. If you do the steps that I talked about in this video, you will 100% be successful. You will grow your agency. You will get your first couple clients in the door and you will never look back on your agency journey from then on. If you're looking for some ways to scale your agency outreach, like ways to send cold email in an automated fashion, get in touch with hundreds of business owners with the click of a mouse, make sure you check out this video right here. I'll talk about some of my cold outreach methods. I used this exact strategy with our team yesterday to lock down 10 meetings with our ideal clients, many of which are gonna close, and that's about $100,000 in potential pipeline from one email campaign. 